So Nathaniel, this is the Deer God. All right. Uh, so, so tell me about it. Uh, you're the Deer God. Excellent. Yes, begin adventure. So like, uh, it's all empty, so am it's Am I fine. actually a deer? Uh, you can play on hardcore mode, but I think that means you only have one life. Okay, but isn't that sort of like the spirit of it this? It uh... is, but you're going to be a little confused at some bits, so just okay. play normal. Okay, okay, okay. Eventually, I want to do a full playthrough of this game. Okay. Uh, but not not today. Is this sort of like Goat Simulator, but like pixelated? Uh, no. Okay. So you play as uh, the red guy. Think we're gonna oh, okay. Tonight. Or no, you're not the blue guy. Yeah. Oh, are we like hunters? Up. Yeah, you'll see. Okay. Up? I think you can you skip the cutscene. Okay. So what happens is... Um, one of them shoots a deer, yeah. and then like you fall off a cliff, <laughs> or you get shot, or something, and that's the deer gosh. And he's pissed off at you for shooting the deer. There should be subtitles. I thought there were subtitles. Okay, well, you can just sort of fill me in, I guess. That's fine. It's nothing really important. You can skip this too. Okay. I mean, he looks cool. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a deer god. <laughs> So that's you. So why am I a deer? Uh, you're the deer god. What? Yeah. Okay. I so. I was the guy in the red. No. Uh. So what's your name? Uh, Nathaniel. Okay. Uh, what do you do? I uh, currently am in uh, the radio broadcasting program at Humber, and I also uh, teach dance. Do you? Yes. What kind of dance do you teach? I teach tap and I teach hip hop. Okay. Oh, uh, you want to talk to that deer? Okay. Hit X. Uh. Hello there, at long last, you're the trans... Oh, great. <laughs> Elder of Agility, I'm gonna give you a thing. Uh, so the red... Oh, you can learn how to double jump! Nice! So it's, uh... What game lets you double jump? A oh, Castlevania? Yoshi's, Yoshi's Willy World? Uh, I mean, that's well, not really that, a double that's jump. That's a hover jump, but whatever. It is. Uh, so you're already dying. What? <laughs> You see, oh, skip through this dialogue. It's fine. There's nothing fine, else here. Okay, fine. Uh, so you learn how to double jump. Yeah. Okay. So the green bar is uh, your food meter. Oh, I have to find. Food? You have to eat. Watch out for that pork. Oh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so like what hip-hop. kind of dance do you teach? That uh, tap and hip hop. Really? Yeah. Uh, you want to hurt that guy? Oh, I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost my monocle. Oh, yeah, help me sure. find my monocle. So you're going to find the guy's monocle. Just run away. Run oh. away. So the interesting thing about this is the world is cyclical. Oh. Uh, while being procedurally generated. Uh, so you don't have to kill him. You oh. really don't. Oh, I think what? you get a different ending if you don't kill him. Where's anybody. his food? Uh, you find it. Okay. Like there. Is that? Ah. Oh. Oh, a little bit of food. Okay. Uh, so uh, you teach all different kinds of dance. I'm uh, just tapping hip hop. You just asked me that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm making sure that you're focused on what you're doing too. Um, <laughs> do you plan on staying in this major? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, uh, good. What do you specifically want out of this program? Um, I I've always really really enjoyed writing, uh, so I'm I'm hoping to do. So something you want to do like, copy? Yeah. Okay, like copy. that's fair. Uh, you should do the copy, and I should produce it. Yeah, sounds like a plan. That sounds like a very good plan. Uh, so you're not going to want to eat all the food, which is awesome. Oh, okay. Ooh! Did I used to die? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Welcome to the deer god. Does he, like, resurrect me, or is he just yeah. going to, like, okay. So, wow, uh, you come back as a baby. Excellent. All that progress that you made, you immediately lose. Oh, but I come back here. You do! But you see that... Did I lose Whoa, look at that fox! Uh, so you age. Oh. And okay. as you age, you get different powers. Oh, okay. Like, oh. A, a, if you keep visiting different guys, you get different powers, and... Is uh, it, like, more dangerous because it's night? Is that the problem? Uh, no, you're just not platforming very oh. well. Well, yeesh. Can I just, like, hand, land on his head? Like, uh, no, you have to X. Use your charge. You take damage. Oh, oh no, you don't take damage when you charge. That's right. Uh, he takes damage, but it looks like you do because that's just how this game is. Uh, do you do you like pixel games? Uh, you know what? My favorite game of all time is Star Control Two from Oh yeah, that game sounds really familiar. 
It, it, yeah, it sounds like uh, we're doing a Let's Play of it, doesn't it? Uh, n n no, I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. That, that might be somebody else. Oh, okay. I, uh, it's okay. Um, <laughs> are you familiar with puzzle platforming games? Um, I haven't played a lot, but yeah, the ones I have played, I've really enjoyed. Oops. Like what? Ooh, no, give me an example. Um. Watch that gator. Why don't you give me some examples and? <laughs> uh, no, you have to give me an example right now. Think of one. Um. No, no, um. Think about it. Do it. Do it. Think about it. Think about it real hard. Watch that ghost. Oh, what? Oh, no, he's evil. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. You didn't give me one yet. Come on, Nathaniel. You puzzle got this. Platform, platform. Have you ever heard of a game called um, Master Reboot? It's not really a puzzle. Uh, no, but... I've heard of Reboot Reboot. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a uh, puzzle horror game. Oh, look, oh, you leveled up. up. Yeah. It's a puzzle horror game um, based inside this sort of like... Um, System Computer? where, like, when people die, their memories can be uploaded. So, System Shock 2. <laughs> a little bit like that. It's actually what appealed it to me. Uh, because actually... it was like System Shock 2? Yeah, I really like System Shock 2. Do you? That's a, that's more of a puzzle shooter. So. Yeah, but it's still a puzzle. You're yeah, dying. Yeah, it's still a puzzle game. That's not food. Down to Eat, I believe. It might be Down to Eat. Yeah, oh, yeah. now you're dying. Good job. Uh, okay. Um, so, what is your favorite video game? Star Control 2. Uh, okay, what's besides uh, that? Is okay. there a game series that endears itself to you in any way? Oh boy. Fire Emblem. Ooh. Full the stop. entire series? Full stop. I have played all of them, even the Japanese ones that were never released here. Oh, did you get translations or did you learn Japanese at the <laughs> age of seven? <laughs> I know. At the age of seven. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I had uh, fan translations, yeah. That's fair. Uh, were they good? Uh, the oh, what was that? The translations? Yeah. What was that? Down there. Oh, what is that? Oh, I can push it. That did nothing. I got a deer stomp. Oh. No, from the sky. What? Yeah. You did it. I did? I did? <laughs> no. Keep going. It's Thanks. okay. Uh, you also get a stamina bar, which actually sucks in this game. Uh. Uh, oh, you're about to level up again. Don't die. Don't die. Don't How can die. You tell? Don't die. You see that little bar in the corner? Uh oh. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna wanna move these boxes in a in an order and a pattern to make them do something. I'm assuming since you play video games, uh, you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh -oh. Hunter. Hunters. Which? Zoe. Oh you did it! What'd you get? Oh, it's rumbling. There's a rumbling in your tumbly. Oh, you got powers. Go assign the powers. How do I do that? Hit start. Nope. Oh. Hit Y. That's it? Okay. No. No? Uh, yeah, there it is. Up. You gotta go up. Oh, oh, oh. Up. There you go. You got a light. Light. I can so you're gonna want to put that on one of your uh, things. How? There. Oh. Okay, and do you remember how to use it? No, hit B. You're also dying. Like that, right? Hold. You gotta hold it. What? Oh, okay. So that pulls blocks and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so you're dying. Okay, alright, alright. No, nah, you're dying. Shut up! <laughs> no, I have to tell you what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so, uh, since you didn't learn how to speak Japanese at the age of seven to play these games, uh, did you play them on emulations? Yes, yeah. Emulators on the uh, computer, yeah. Which one is your favorite one? Was it Fuino Tsurugi? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I played that one. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's not Fuin my favorite, no though. Fuino Mitsurugi. Uh, oh, what was that? My... A deer point. What? Go it's back. Spikes. Spikes. There's deer points. Ooh, oh, what's that? There? I can't go back. Oh, now you can't do it. You messed up. Now you can't be the deer god. Really? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Maybe I don't remember. I played this game once. Oh okay. Um, Checkpoint. My. Oh. oh we had already did it. Okay. There was a save game. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. You better eat. You're gonna die. Ooh, there's so much in this game, isn't there? Damn. <laughs> you weren't prepared. Have sex with that girl. What? Have sex with that girl. You can't do that yet. Never mind. Oh okay. 
Ah. Uh. So when you become the big deer, you can have uh, sex. Oh, okay. My favorite Fire Emblem game is Seisen no Keifu. Uh, um, can you explain which, which one that one is? Which roughly translates to Genealogy of the Holy War. Uh, that so sounds that's... like the new game that's coming out. Oh, you can have sex now! Oh, he... great. <laughs> um, the, uh, it's, the, it's the fourth one in the series. It was the second one on the Super Famicom. Um, the main character of the game was named Sigurd. Sigurd. Uh, Yes, which was based on like Siegfried, Siegfried from like uh, Siegfried and Roy, Norse uh, mythology. Siegfried and Roy, and then um, look at that guy in the house. Oh, can I go in? Yeah. Okay. Up. Down. Okay. Hello. Oh, I'm an old man. You made it, little buddy. You must be. I was out picking berries, and oh, uh, and she know what my mark would. <laughs> so now you gotta find it in bushes. Okay. Do it. Do oh, I'm out lion! Can I stomp the bushes? Oh, crap. Can I ram him? Yeah. Get that mountain lion. Watch your sam stamina bar. Oh, I see. Get him. Get him. No, you gotta kill him. What? He you jumped. Have to, you have to kill him. Day four. Yeah. Got him. You did it. Is See if you have time? anything in your inventory. Is there a time limit? Um, um, do I only have like so many days? No, you you should be fine. Items: clover, uh, pine cone, beehive, and feather. Yeah, they they do things for you. It's good. Oh. Uh, okay, so Fuin no Tsurugi. How come you don't like that one? I just find it a bit boring. It's Which one's bit, that one? Very slow. Fuin no Tsurugi is um, the one with Roy. Oh, you mean the best one? <laughs> if you say so, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's the best one. Cause uh, you fight guy with big sword. What? You fight guy with big sword. What are you talking about? Like, cause there's an enemy, like the main boss of the game. You fight him with big sword. Like he has this sword that turns from like a spear into a a, a sword, right? Isn't that him? I've only beaten it once, so I don't really remember. Um, and the real final boss is actually a dragon, so. That's true. But, like, the, the. You know what I'm talking about, or you should. He's like the Black Knight of the game. Have sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Go know. make a baby. Oh. Can I do that now? Yeah. Oh. Look how easy it is. Wow. Too bad it's not like that in real life. You so that acts like a second baby life. If you die. That oh, acts like okay. a second life. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Oh, like. Okay. So the kid follows me? Yeah. Oh, shit. You already killed the baby. <laughs> shit. You didn't tell me what happened. Yeah, I know. You gotta figure this stuff out for yourself. That's what I did. This is Dear God. Welcome to Dear God, Nathaniel. Are you having fun? Do you like Dear God? No, no, it's pretty fun, actually. So this guy with the antlers, if you get too close to him, he's gonna freak out and try to kill you. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Why didn't you tell me that, but not about the kid? Uh, there he goes. There he goes. He's coming. He's coming. Wow, this is stressful. He's coming for you. He's gonna do it. He just keeps You gotta hit those me. bushes. You gotta hit all the bushes. You what? gotta find that guy's monocle. I have to actually find So go monocle? back and find his monocle. Oh, screw you it. have to go back. No, you gotta do it or else you literally won't progress. Really? Yeah. Seriously. I'm a deer! Why do I care? Because <laughs> you're still a person. You wanna be a person. Oh, is that the idea? Like, if I help people, I become a person Yes, yeah, so if you solve puzzles, you get to be a person again after you fight an eagle. You fight <laughs> an eagle. <laughs> you fight the biggest goddamn eagle that has ever existed and beat the game. What is he? Like, the eagle god? He's a big eagle. But he's not like, like an eagle He's a god. beagle. He's not eagle. He's a big eagle. He's just the eagle. He's like a big demon eagle. A deagle. Holy crap. A bear. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, good. You got off lucky. How do you feel about any of the recent Fire Emblem games? Um, I really like them a lot. Uh, Awakening was uh, a very good game that was a uh, homage, I think, to a lot of the other Fire Emblem games that came before it. Uh, and, and it was infinitely better because of the partner battle system. Yes, the partner battle was great. Oh, um, 
So if you want a little something about Fire Emblem Ooh, 4... Oh, and did you play Fire Emblem Awakening, though? Yes, of course I did. Okay, good. Ah! If you want to know something about Fire Emblem 4, then uh, Awakening's shipping thing with the children was taken from Genealogy of the Holy War. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. So I that, guess that makes sense since it's Genealogy and yes, Holy War. Yes, yes. So... Who was your favorite character in Awakening? Uh, in terms of characterization or in terms of, like, stats and stuff? Yes. <laughs> who's your favorite character and who's your favorite person on your team? Okay. Uh, favorite character stat-wise is probably Krom. Yeah! Uh, and the character... other answer is also Krom. <laughs> well, probably. But I'll make it a different answer just for the sake of being... It could be Krom. More unique. It could be Krom. Krom is a pretty good character. Uh, but I think my favorite character was probably... Hmm. Faster. I don't know. I think... I liked, Tharja. I like Tharja a lot, actually. Wow, um, I was kidding. Oh. No, I actually kind of liked her. Ooh. I liked that, like, sort Man, of, like, go the... talk to freaking uh, Travis about that one. Oh, okay. He he loves Tharja. Okay. I think Tharja's kind of cool. She's a creepo. Okay. Well, I but kinda... you need to ship her with the, the archer dude that I can't remember the name of in I... order to get, like, the best kid. I did ship her with the archer dude. He is... They have the best kid! They actually do! <laughs> um... Ooh, don't die. Well, if I had Awakening in front of me, I could, like, tell you who I shipped with. I'm pretty confident that I picked the right matches. <laughs> uh, my favorite character is uh, Edward. Okay. That's not from Awakening. No. No. Uh, my other favorite character is uh, Ike. Oh, <laughs> that's also not Awakening? But He's yes. in Awakening. Okay, but... Oh, well... Edward's also in Awakening. Oh, well... Come at me, bro. Oh, well... Come on. You know it's true. Secret's also in Awakening, then. That's fair. Is the Black Knight from... Uh, whatchamacallit in there? Yes, I think so. Okay. So, how do you feel about uh, Sacred Stones? Good, but too easy. I'll agree. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Path of Radiance? Fantastic from start to finish. Absolutely incredible game. But you need to play uh oh no, Radiant Dawn. You, you asked about Radiant you, you asked about yeah, but you need to play Radiant Dawn to finish like the story. I mean you don't, it's they self-contained. Really, they are self-contained, but together they make a much more complete package. I actually don't like Micaiah like at all. At all. I don't think you're supposed to. Only maybe some people do. I don't like Makai at all. I tried really hard to like level her up and make her good and it was just She's such a pain in the ass. I mean, in comparison, uh, Sothe is fantastic. Yes. It's ter- it's too bad he sucks as, like, a character, oh, like but a then, fighter. But he gets way better when he turns into, like, that Thief Lord guy. For, like, the first three chapters. He's like... He's like the Titania of... Of, uh, the beginning of the game. Yeah. But, like, Titania, he's a crush character. So, he starts getting kind of bad around third, fourth mission you have them. Uh, so you know what my favorite part about Sacred Stones is? What? Uh, you know when you're playing as Ephraim? Yes. And uh, you get that guy on your team that totally just fucks you over? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, What's his uh, name? Paladin? Yeah. I know he's a paladin. That's my favorite guy. <laughs> you gotta kill him in the next mission. If or I like, think you might be able to get him back. I don't he's remember. like totally insane. I uh, I actually really like that storyline. You know, um, sac- if you like Sacred Stones, Fire Emblem Gaiden... On the on the Famicom, that's the second Fire Emblem game. Uh, Gaiden, Sol- it's Gaiden. Sorry, whatever. No, Good job Gaiden. learning Japanese. It's Gaiden. Nippon. It's not Gaiden. It's Gaiden. Gaiden. No, you can't have more than you can't have more than one vowel and sil- and uh, consonant in a single. Ninja syllable. Gaiden. That's not. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Like that's uh, authoritative. Uh, way of uh, speaking Japanese. Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, that's not how you say it, though. Shinobu Gaiden. That's the game. Anyways, uh, so Fire Emblem 2... Uh, oh, oh, you killed your baby! How do, I, how do I stop him from, like, suiciding? Uh, you can't. Oh, okay. It's real hard. Okay. You have to be very careful about raising your family. Oh, okay. Apparently I'm a terrible father. You are. What okay. were you gonna say about Fire Emblem? Oh, um... Sacred Stones is a spiritual successor to Fire Emblem 2. The uh, free roaming map, the random encounters, the um, t- the boy girl with the different branching paths, that's all for Fire Emblem 2. Ephraim's a way better character than Erica. Yes, he is. 
Erica just kind of sucks. Not only is Ephraim a better character, he's also a much better fighter. So. Yeah. And his path is much more interesting. Oh, absolutely. His but, side paths are fantastic. I mean, obviously, I, I've done them both, but... What was I going to say? It was, I think it was about Radiant Dawn. So, uh, I have I have a decent beef with Radiant Dawn, actually. Okay. Um, and that it... The fact that it splits itself into those four sections, I think, is its undoing. Why do you say that? Like, it's big, and, like, it's like, hey, oh. this is really cool that you get all these different people from the past game in there as well. But I think if the focus was just on, like, Micaiah and her story, we wouldn't not like her as much. Yeah, I think there's just not enough it's time. It's spread too thin it in the game. Thin. Uh, so it's like, hey, look, you got Ike back. Look, you have Ragnell back. Look how cool all that is, guys. Ha 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 ha. Right. And then it's like, Micaiah's so awful that it doesn't matter. Yes. Um, yeah, it is unfortunate. Um, yeah, on the other hand, um, on the other hand, it definitely, I think it definitely accomplishes its sort of goal of making this sort of epic sweeping. Oh, absolutely. Tale like, it gives it you, like,. The coolest thing that you can experience in a Fire Emblem game, for the most part, but like, it's it's too long. I think. Uh, I don't really have any problem with what his length. <laughs> and um, like Ike's section is not great. Uh, I think Ike's section is pretty good. And then you don't even no, you do get my favorite unit. All the units from the last game come back, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Uh, but do you, I don't even get my favorite unit until the like later part of the game. Uh, is it? Hmm. What is your, what's your favorite? It's Har. Gifka. Oh, Har? I love Har. Yeah, my favorite. Yes. He doesn't show up late in the game. He's he's there in part two. He's with uh, uh, Lencia in part two. Oh my god, that's right. My life him, is a lie. You get him right off. You get him pretty early. Relatively. My life is an absolute lie. Because here you don't get Ike until part three. You actually get Har before you get Ike. That's right. Yeah. Oh no. Then that means you don't get my actual favorite character until later. Uh, in oh. in uh, Path Path of Radiance, uh, you got uh, that Swordmaster. Oh right, the one you have to end your turn on a specific square. In the desert, yeah. Yes. To go find him. That's uh, probably who my has who has Mankati. Uh, yeah. Or is it Soul Caddy? It's I, I don't remember, but he's yeah. real good. Yes, it's Sword. Yeah. And he's real good. Of course, he's really good. He's the secret character. The secret character. Well, he was. You had to end your turn with the lagoons on a specific square in the desert in one map. That was the only way to get him. And I don't remember his name. Yeah, me either. Lou Boo. I get this. Okay, so uh, that happens. Oh shit. Ah! So you have your your uh, your glowy thing, remember? Oh yeah. That influences blocks, doesn't it? Right. Uh... It be. Yeah, superpowers. Okay. You might have messed this up. Am I? Maybe. Okay. Oh, you want to push that down there though? You want to push that down there though? Go back. Why? Why? You want to do it? Okay. You see that deer statue? Yeah. You know what that means? Oh, uh, okay. Ah. Look, you got another superpower. You got fire. fire. You can uh, cast it. So. Do I sign it to two? Yeah. How do I use that then? Uh, one? you... You do it. Let me do it. Uh, hit the bumper. What? One Which of the bumper? bumpers. What's the bumpers? The bumpers. Oh, why is a bumper? The bumpers. Oh, my God. Bloody Xbox controllers. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Fire! And it's not... It's, I mean, it's kind of useful. It's fine. Uh... What do you... What do you plan on doing in the next five years? Oh, well, that's a good question. Uh, I, you know, I, I hope to keep dancing, I guess. Um, with your zip-off pants. What is with you in that? It's just uh, weird. Uh, Day nine! I have to, I have, all my, all the pants I own, have to, I have to be able to dance in them. It's You're just dying. something, it's just, uh. You're just, dying. Yeah, I am. It's just a rule I have, so. It's a rule. <laughs> Who sets these rules? Me. I don't buy, I don't buy clothes I can't dance in, so. I only have one pair of pants that have a rip-off thing. Oh, it's another Fair. deer statue. But I'm really starving, so I feel like I need to find food first. Like, well, if you do that, you get a checkpoint. monkey. If you do that, you get a checkpoint, right? So. Oh, okay. What? 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 
Yeah. What? Yep. Go, uh, go, go push that one around. Until you figure it out. Yeah. That's yeah, a good game, isn't it? I kind of like it. Okay, that's not working. Yeah, it doesn't work. So what you do now is you run around the map to yeah. the right until it goes and respawns. Okay. Uh, how do you how do you feel about oh no uh, how do you feel about the technological singularity the other way um uh, uh, no, so no, a I refresher don't know what that is but uh... a refresher on the technical the technological singularity uh, because Thomas had a really good answer for this and I like asking no you got to run around the map oh really it, okay. it's cyclical oh, okay uh, so oh you're dying too thanks. Are these frogs? Oh, that's it. You died! Day nine! Da, da, da. Oh, you didn't You didn't die with uh, a lot of loss, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, so the technological singularity for a refresher is uh, the point where uh, it, uh, artificial intelligence meets human intelligence and begins to surpass it. I'd be interested to know what Thomas's answer was, but anyways, my answer is that it's not possible. Not uh, possible? Uh, yes. Uh, the idea that humans understand the mind well enough that we could design an AI that surpasses us is is insulting, really. Do you think we can design one that matches us? And we can design maybe one that matches what we perceive to be uh, the height of mental intelligence or wisdom. Yes. So we're never going to have just smart robots that act like people. I think we could have robots that approximate, uh, you know, average intelligence, but uh, I think our understanding of the way the mind works is too limited at the moment to be, it be to, for it to be a feasible option. Hey, at the moment, that's not saying in a hundred years it's not going to happen. Mm, yeah, well, you know, we have an overly optimistic view of how fast technology will move on. Look in the last 20 years. I suppose. But Back to the Future 2 definitely thought we were going to have flying cars in 2015. So uh, We have cars that can drive themselves. Uh, not for mass use. Yeah, but they're in production. Uh -huh. We also have self-tying shoes. That's less impressive, I think. <laughs> hey, Back to the Future uh, wanted something, doesn't it? You gotta give it a point somewhere. Okay, well... What does the fox say? No. It says, no, don't do that. Okay, fine. I hated that. It was the worst. Really? Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. I listened oh, to it all the time. No. Over and over again. That means you're a furry. I'm sorry. It means do you not want to be my friend It anymore? confirms that you're a furry. <laughs> Are you a furry? I don't think so. <laughs> That's the best answer I could have gotten. No is you know what it is and you deny it. Or yes is you're a fucking furry. <laughs> Jump. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I have any more questions for this one. Alright. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah. Are you going to uh, take the uh, chains off around my uh, hand soon? Not yet. Okay, fine. That was a, that was a good joke during that podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's it, it doesn't really apply here. Oh. You came over here of your own volition. Your own free will. You decided. That's what he says. Help. Help. He's making me play a game about deer. <laughs> You're enjoying <laughs> it. I actually am. Never oh, played. really? Yeah. Uh, so do you think you eventually want to do a full playthrough of this with me? E I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. I don't even... Ooh. I win! First try. I win! I don't even know what happened there. I win! I think you died. I died? I think... Uh, you fell down a mine shaft. Oh. To be fair... Oh. To be fair, I've never had that happen to me. Oh. And I beat the game. I'm I don't remember that section at all. I'm a baby. You are. You were a baby before. Why? Several times. No, but last time I died, I came back with antlers. Uh, I don't remember why. Oh. I actually don't know why. Okay. Are you done with this? Do you want to stop playing the Dear God? Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you stop. We can play something fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Captain. Yep. 